Well, we are all feeling the heat, of course, and as we sweat it out here on land, marine heat waves are cooking oceans across the globe. Scientists say it is unprecedented and that there could be dire consequences. WRL climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin has more. When these giant buoys aren't on land for maintenance, they're recording data, including water temperature off North Carolina's coast. The warm water is being pushed farther than it's ever been pushed before. Professor Doug Gamble says UNC Wilmington's been gathering data for 20 years. Sensors in the area are between 85 and 87 degrees right now. And he says ocean temperatures are on the rise in the North Atlantic, a trend that could make hurricanes more dangerous. There is more energy to feed into those storms, so they will be stronger, higher category, you can think of it that way. Then the other thing is the warmer the air is, the more water it holds. So if you hold more water, that equals more rain. Currently, 44% of oceans across the globe are experiencing marine heat waves, projected to jump to 50% by September, according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. And that manifests as these extreme temperatures, and that is definitely bumping up that 44%. It's making it bigger than we've ever seen it. And at this point, it's pretty unequivocal that um, the extreme temperatures that we're seeing here are made warmer because of climate change. These extreme temperatures can also cause issues with water quality, particularly in shallow areas where warm water can be a bacteria breeding ground. Now, North Carolina health officials are issuing warnings after three residents died from contracting Vibrio this summer, a bacteria found in warm seawater and brackish water. Concerns to keep in mind if you're headed to the coast in the coming weeks. In Wilmington, I'm Liz McLaughlin, WREL News. Uh, those rising ocean temperatures are also putting uh, some heat stress on the marine ecosystem. That includes the coral reefs. We know how important those are. Yeah, and some of the images are really sad. Water temperatures around South Florida in particular have hit triple digits multiple days this week. And if that continues, scientists say it could cause more coral bleaching, is what it's called, and even cause some species to mm -hmm. die out.